Yo, hey, this shit hey. easy, nigga. Hey, I'm talking about, nigga, I'm still out here trying to get it. Contender Regime Boxing checking back in with y'all. Man, what's happening? It is a beautiful day out here in my city, man, Dallas, Texas. I'm just enjoying and, uh, you know, soaking all this in, man. I love the springtime, you feel me? Jason Rosario, victorious over Julian J. Rock Williams uh, a few months ago, not too long ago, actually. Um, Julian J. Rock Williams' hometown fight took an L in dramatic fashion you know, knockout victory. And, you know, as the champion that Julian J. Rock Williams was for that short period of time, unified champion, he had an opportunity to exercise the rematch clause. It comes out recently in an article that I read from a credible source that Julian J. Rock Williams is not gonna pursue a rematch with Jason Rosario, at least not immediately. You dig what I'm saying? Now, I kind of thought that, you know, right after the fight, I felt like that this might be the move just because of the way he took the L, the matchup. Jason Rosario is a big guy, man. And I felt like Julian J-Rock Williams, he didn't box as sharp as he possibly could have boxed in that fight. But I also felt like just matchup wise, it just wasn't good for him, you know, uh, Rosario, big guy, comes at you, you know, um, head down, you know, and when I say head down, I ain't talking about looking down at the floor. I'm talking about head down, focused on his man, walking you down, uh, ferocious body punching, head punching, very big guy, very strong guy for that division. And I mean, he just continuously chop you down, you know, and you got to have some shit behind your gloves to be able to discourage him for coming forward and hitting you with all type of shit that he was hitting J-Rock with. You know what I'm saying? I just don't really, I don't like that matchup for Williams. Now, I would have loved to see him take the rematch and, you know, I would have supported him every bit for exercising his, re his right as a former champion to get a rematch. You dig what I'm saying? But I'm not mad at this move and I actually thought that this would be the move. So honestly, I like this better because it opens up the idea of a unification match with Jamel Charlo. I love the matchup with Jamel Charlo versus Jason Rosario. You dig what I'm saying? I feel like Jamel Charlo is the very best fighter in the division. A lot of people feel like, well, uh, ain't nobody really separated themselves as the guy in that division, which is one of the main reasons why the 154 pound division is so popping and so exciting and so entertaining and so competitive you know what i'm saying but for me from what i've seen if you look at the the, the very controversial loss that jamel charlo had versus another good fighter in tony harrison then coming back and stopping tony harrison in 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 amazing and spectacular fashion convincingly definitively you know i think is jamel charlo has just the best overall resume now uh, Jerry Hurd has a really good resume at 154 as well. But if you take into account resume, overall talent, skill, ability, you take everything into account. I think Jamel Charlo is the best fighter at 154, you know, but the, the fact that this this division is so competitive, it's still a lot to be seen in this division. So I would love to see Jamel Charlo and Jason Rosario unified titles that's three titles man that's one step closer to undisputed which is what i want to see ultimately in this division i believe whoever whoever becomes undisputed at 154 is definitely a top five pound for pound fighter because that division has so much heat and so much talent if you're able to come out on top in that division you gotta be a hell of a motherfucker you dig what I mean? You gots to be a hell of a fighter to come out on top at the 154 pound division so um what i want to see I need to see Jamel Charlo and Jason Rosario. I need to see that. That's a great fight. You got a big guy in Jason Rosario who gonna come forward and throw a lot of punches. You got Jamel Charlo who is a, a well-rounded, overall, really talented, skillful fighter who can do everything, coached by one of the best in the game by Derrick James. He can box you. He can come forward. He can chop you down. He can knock you out. 
You know what I'm saying? He can he can get a UD on you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he can do everything. You dig what I'm saying? He's a supremely athletically talented. You know, I mean, it's it's it's, it's really nothing that Jamel Charlo can't do. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's a great fight, man. And it's a unification match. It's one of those fights that that I would pay to see. You know, so y'all let me know what y'all think, man. What do y'all want to see next from Jason Rosario now that he's not going to fight Julian J. Rock Williams? And do you want to see a unification match right away? I mean, every boxing fan should say yes to this. Now, can we make that shit happen? It's going to be up to Jason Rosario team because I already know Jamel Charlo. You know he want the smoke. Y'all know what he want. Jamel Charlo ain't never dug no smoke. You dig what I'm saying? So we know what Jamel want, but it's going to be up to them guys over there at uh, on Jason Rosario team because immediately after the, the J-Rod Williams fight, you know, his management was talking about, well, you know, we going uh, to uh, shake and move and do all this whoop the whoop the whoop Hey, man, look. Make that shit happen. We know Charlo wants the smoke. So, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. Contender Regime Boxing. I holla at y'all, boys, man.